Well, hey, everybody, I'm Tim, and welcome to Cigars Daily Live, coming to you from sunny Phoenix, Arizona. Tonight, we have got a gangbusters episode for you. If this is your first time joining us on the show, I've got to tell you how this thing works. My name is Tim, and I'm the host of this shebang right here. But all of you watching at home, you are the co-host. Your comments and questions will drive this episode into a fiery barn that's been lit on fire after a rave. Truthfully, that's typically what we do every single week. Oh, but tonight, yeah. it's very special because we have officially begun the countdown. Countdown! There's is there a, there's a thing in there? No. No, you don't. You're looking for it? Yeah, you can't find it, can you? I cannot. It's Gosh, like this is just like sometimes I upload them and they go and sometimes they don't. We were just having such a good time. All right, just one second. Just one second. This gonna the wheel's gonna spin. Gosh, there's just so much. Okay, the countdown to the cigar event of the year. All right, so uh, Habano Con is on its way, everybody. There is so much to talk about, so much that's going on. Uh, you guys can learn more about this, of course, on the community on Cigars Daily Plus. This is where we're going to be going for the after party of this episode uh, a little bit later on. But of course, all the details are there for this event. It's a ticketed event. And of course, it's going to be a huge blast. Willie Herrera is going to be there. And your guy's favorite, Oliva Nick, will be there. But he's also here tonight. And not just here in this picture. I that thought I that was the situation from yeah. uh, <laughs> Jersey Shore. Jersey no, Shore. no, it's not. It's not. It's oh, not. Okay. And uh, I do want to tell you guys. I did Photoshop this picture to make Nick look better in it, but he does look after I Photoshopped, I gotta say he looks kind of buff. All right. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys more about all that. You can learn more about Habano con it's coming up for 20 and uh, that all that's going on. All right. Lots to talk about tonight, but of course, helping me run this episode behind the camera is Billy, the kid and El Rey del Torrance. Oh, what's good. Y'all what's so good? good. What's going on guys. All right. Um, we're going to start by taking some of your comments, but here's, if you're new to the show, I've got to warn you up front. We make fun of everybody. This is like your local cigar lounge online. Like we just hang out together, bust each other's chops. And, and I usually make ridiculous voices. If that offends you, you should make a voice too. You can make, make a voice at home. I won't hear it and I won't care, but you can do it. All right. Um, <clears throat> did I intro you guys? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I intro yeah. you both. Okay. Now welcoming to the show. For the 100th appearance, the president of the cigar industry in North America, the senior vice president of Oliva Cigars, Nick Oliva Zaglifa. What is going yeah. on? What's going on? Every time I come on this show, my title gets better and <laughs> yeah. better. And one day I'm going to be like the president. You're going to be the of president. The, world. the president of, of the world. Cigar heaven. Of All right. Cigar, just you got to make sure you get right up to the mic. Hopefully not cigar heaven. This is like uh, you think about the mic like uh, like no, the first I'm not gonna think about it like that. Okay, all okay. right, never mind. No, nope. right. no, nope. but just have that image yep. in your mind mm -hmm. while we. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, you guys can put comments down below for me or for Nick, so you guys know what Nick does. When I first met Nick, back in the day, long time ago, Nick was a lowly cigar rep, a Southwest Territory representative. Telling the fine cigar shops about Oliva cigars. Tales of woe. Tales of woe. I, the first time I ever ordered cigars from a cigar maker, it was from Nick, who I don't want to say took me for every penny that I had. Almost every penny. It was more had. than every penny did, I had. We did was, pretty good. It was legitimately, I was a big order. Anyway, uh, I learned a lot after that. Yes. And, and never now, trust a cigar salesman, hopefully. Is what now, you're yeah, that's right. Yes. Nick has now stepped over the many corpses of those that have challenged him to achieve the position yes. of uh, national sales manager. National sales yeah, manager. I'm not All that right. special. No wow. vice presidents. No, I'm yeah, still yeah. not corporate yet. Okay, yes. really? Yes, I know. Crazy, right? So you're just kind of hanging out there in the wind, yeah, exactly. hoping you don't get chopped off. I could still off. say bad things and not get in trouble. Right, like, right HR right. doesn't really know I exist, that kind of thing. It's <laughs> kind of right. nice. All right, so you can drop your comments down for him. And it's been cool to watch Nick. If you guys have followed the channel for a while, you've seen Nick get, you know, salesman of the year for oh. Oliva, several years running. And then now they, they promoted him so that he couldn't keep doing that. Yes. And now they now he oversees a guy in Arizona who's crushing it. Steve, yes, he's doing very well. A great guy. He's a rookie of the year. Rookie of yes, the year. Wow. All right. 
Uh, of course, I want to get to your guys' comments up front. We are talking about Oliva Cigars, and you can learn more about these cigars, a massive collection, and really the value of Oliva, which I got to say, can't understate the value of Oliva Cigars. Agreed. Check them out on the community on Cigars Daily Plus. Don't miss out on that, especially as the show airs here. Um, let's get some comments from the fine people. Yeah. I would argue, though, today. bang for the buck. Dollar for dollar. Dollar for dollar. I think we probably, as far as like major brands, I think we have probably one of the best lineups for the best dollar mm -hmm. points, if that makes sense. What is the anybody. slogan that you always, that you're sloughing when we, we come here? It's like the best cigars for the best. Yeah, I, I had you always say something. Uh, the, uh, what was it? The uh, best cigars for the best prices. Yeah, okay. Yeah, good. best cigars yeah, for yeah, the best yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, yeah. We'll go with that. Yeah. All right. It'll come to me get, eventually. Let's get some comments from the fine people at home. Here we go. This one's from Ralphie. Does Oliva have a cigar with a Mexican San Andreas wrapper? I'm in danger. Uh, I'm in danger. <laughs> that's a good, that's a route. That's, thank you, Ralphie. That's a good question. Do you do yes. a Mex You do. Yes. The, um, Oliva. V Maduro. The Siri V Maduro. Siri V Maduro is Mexican San Andreas. The Milanio Maduro is Mexican San Andreas. Milanio oh. Maduro. And I could be wrong, and I've been wrong one other time in my You're life. You're not going to say Master Blends 3. No. That's okay. a, that's, that's a broad. Connecticut Broadleaf. Um, the Nub, um, Maduro, I think I could be wrong, and forgive me, guys. My brain is not working like it normally does, but I think that as a Mexican, how well does your brain normally work? Better than it does right now, <laughs> trust me. I probably significantly better than it has been. Uh, but yeah, I think the nub is is a uh, San Andreas. San Andreas also. So I gotta say, of all the of all the Maduros in your catalog, and and almost all the Maduros that are out there, the Oliva Siri V Maduro just crushes it. Yeah. That cigar is so for, for it's a, a fantastic cigar and truly. and like highlight some of the best of what a dark San Andreas wrapper should be. It's peppery. It's got a little bit of spice, but definitely has this really nice uh, like cinnamon note in it. It's absolutely great cigar. One of my favorite Maduros. Go back to that one all the time. Yep. All right. Let's keep going. I want another comment coming down here. This one is from. OK, Colin M. Is that a year of the dragon lighter that Nick has? Mm. What's a year of the dragon lighter? Are you aware? I there's you, so many year of the dragon you, things. What's funny is do you know about Oliva's year of the dragon? Hold on, let me okay, tell right, the story. Right, let right, me tell yeah. the story. I got to brag, and this is a great story. And I'm gonna get made fun of by the Oliva guys, but we're in Nicaragua and I got to boast about a league of uh not doing a year of the dragon. And then all of a sudden <laughs> we're in our box factory, and there's a box that's red that has a dragon on it. I'm like, guys, really? So then I found out it's just for the Europe or the uh, excuse me, the Asian market. So we will never see an Oliva Year of the Dragon in America. Are you sure? 100%. From what I've been told. Are you sure? Are you serious? I'm going to order it just because he said that. Because so, Could we smoke one together on yeah, the show? absolutely. So it's supposedly Asian market only. That's what I was told. That in America, we will never see. All right, hold on a second. But can we please smoke one together? I don't know, even know what size or any. What's fascinating about it is, and and again, these decisions get paid uh, made figurino. way above my pay grade. No, it looked huge. It was like an eight by. Oh yeah, I would love one. So you do have a year of the dragon, okay? I wish I could. There's I wish like I could lawsuits. Get this. People are actually actively being sued now. Yes, for yes. using the word dragon in a cigar. What a world we live in. What a world. Okay. In Only, world. I mean, but the cigar industry is not like this. That's what I don't understand. Or maybe it is, dude. Uh, not big enough. To Joe know. Rogan has a guy that Google's all his stuff for him, <laughs> but we should, I don't. We, you should get that guy. Jamie, he's Jamie. He finds it. Okay, where is it here? You're the dragon. You're the dragon. You're the dragon. You're the dragon. Are okay, so I did see this. I did, did see this. this. We make it for them. Yes. Okay. We're Oliva, making that for You're the dragon, June 2024, but it's going to be a Gurkha cigar. So it's a Gurkha. It's, it's Gurkha, Gurkha made by Oliva. Made by Oliva. So one thing I've noticed, and if, if people kind of look from the outside in, you'll see this, and you've probably noticed this because we're working on a project together, is Oliva has been making a lot of cigars for other people recently. I so noticed. in my first probably seven, eight years of being with Oliva, we didn't really do that. We made Olivas. Now, if you notice, <clears throat> sorry, guys, my voice is going, but now you'll notice we make cigars for Gurkha and we'll make cigars for a lot of other manufacturers. Sometimes we make cigars where 
where other manufacturers will hand them to me and say, try this and tell me what you think. <laughs> and I'll smoke it. I'm like, ah, it's a pretty good cigar. And oh, it's an Oliva. And I have no idea. So right. uh, these decisions are made on way above my pay grade. So yeah. Several, 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 several levels. Way, 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 way. All right. Uh, I want to get some more comments. Uh, so keep dropping your cigar comments and questions down below. We're going to get to them. But you never answered. Is that a year of the Dragon Lighter you have? It is not oh, a year of the I'm Dragon Lighter. I'm sorry. No, lighter. I apologize. It is not a year of the Dragon Lighter. I apologize. <laughs> every I, every I laugh. question is going to be fine. Can you see? Yeah. Sorry. It's just an Oliva. It's just thin. an Oliva thin lighter. It actually comes in our. Uh, Advent, in calendar. Advent calendars. Yeah. These things are awesome. They're fantastic. Oh, single single calendar. flame torch. Okay. Uh, there we go. All, all about the year of the that dragon. That was a very long detail. <laughs> <to say. laughs> no. <laughs> all right. Uh, Terrence is half Pippi Longstocking oh, tonight. And, uh, I only had one hair tie. Meanwhile, that guy just signed off. He's he's already <laughs> in bed. He's like, this guy. <laughs> nah, I don't have it. Man. Tony Bruno. Terrence. Hair up or down, man. Pick one. Never. You only had one hair tie? Yeah. Only and that was what tie. you came up with? I didn't want to put it in the back. Didn't you didn't want, want to do Troll top. Doll. Nope, I was just gonna do one side only. What's the line? T don't hate the player, hate the game. Hate that's the exactly that's that how dude. is that how that goes. That's Steve? how that goes. Yeah, Bruno. I got an eight-year-old and a six-year-old. I'm hip, I'm cool. <laughs> yeah, Look yeah, at me. Yeah. I'm not sus. Yeah. <laughs> right? What? Not a sussy sus. bucket. Sus. Dude, I, I said, have an eight-year-old and a six-year-old. No, I have no right. idea. My son's eleven, so he says yeah. all that crap. My kid sus. came home the other day and he did something with his hands, like and he yeet. yeet. What's a yeet? It's when, I think Yeet. Yeah, that's just, what he did. <laughs> oh, it was like, he uh, just did that. That's my yeah. little son. I'm like, what did you just do? Yeah, I don't. Yeet's man. been around for ten years now, Nick. Come yeah. on, man. It's old school. I'm the oldest young guy. You're I thought. Me that. I thought uh, yeeting uh, was when you threw something. Okay, so it has a delineate. Thank you, it started off as a dance, and then people were just saying yeet, lies like get away from me, and then you throw something, you go yeet. So that's but, what yeah. He, yeah he okay. Was, yeah. But it started off as a dance. Okay. The thing that I did off camera. Okay, that's could weird. you could you hang out with me and my son and translate like the cool <laughs> so I could look like a cool dad because I'm really doing bad at the Would cool you want dad. Would you be thing. your slang interpreter, Nick? Please, I do, do you for mind? You. I mean, is that is that a thing? Like, you need someone to Google your stuff. I want a slang interpreter. That's it it is. I use the, I learn the words and use them around my kids so that they won't use them. And if I use ah. them, they'll stop. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. That's a that's yeah. a dead stop to it. The second I do it, it's it's no matter not, what not you cool do, anymore. it's not cool anymore. Yeah. So yeah. All sense. right, let's go ahead and get some more comments. I've seen some good ones. Uh, this one's from Whiskey Bar. I never tried an Oliva. Oh, I love I'm that. a sucker for Drew Estate. What would be a good recommendation to get into them? I typically smoke Ratzillas and T-52s. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> it's very hard to, to stay serious. To take it seriously? Yeah. You got to try it. Yep, so first one. of all, uh, whiskey bar. I'm a sucker for Drew Estate too, and T52 happens to be one of my favorite cigars. So I will tell you, I would say Oliva V definitely V Maduro. So yep. <clears throat> the reason I say V Maduro is T. So I I haven't had it t actually. Let me. Just, I like the number nine better than the 52. Oh. Do you really? Yes, I do. I used to. You don't anymore. Not so much. More now the 52? T52 now. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So so I would say V and V Maduro definitely try those, and then Milanio. It, truthfully, in my opinion, you can never go wrong with a Melania. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's an unbelievably good, medium bodied, balanced, just in my opinion, perfection. It'll, it'll crush. That's it my, you. that's my opinion. All so right. if you've never tried Oliva, you're actually my favorite kind of person. And if you, by the way, if you're a huge fan of Drew Estate huge. and you want, <laughs> huge, huge, you want to get into Oliva, the place to do that is that. Habano Con. Bow, 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 bow. So we're going to be coming up 420 this month. We're hanging out a huge mega herf at the Cigars Daily HQ. You can learn way more about this on the community on Cigars Daily Plus. All right. Ticketed event. And uh, there's going to be catered in food. Oliva Nick is going to be there all day long. Uh, Billy's going to be there. Terrence will be there. I'll be there. Ryan Destroyer of Liga Provadas will be there. And Drew Estate's own Willie Herrera, their blender, who's blending everything that they're putting out through 2025 right now. They're like yeah, in that process and, right now. And he's, if you haven't met Willie, he's an unbelievably awesome, awesome guy. I met yeah. him at El Titan de Bronze when oh, I first yes. when oh, I first wow. started years, oh, yeah. 12 years ago before he started with Drew. And I'm telling you, he's a gentleman and one of the best guys in this industry. So if you guys 
I, I encourage everybody to, to check out the website. He's also a large man. He's a very, very large man. So that's why I'm being so nice is because I'm a very little guy now. And <laughs> yeah. he's, he's, he's like a, six, a gentle eight. giant. Yes. When we say large, we don't mean like a big fat guy. Like he's ripped and buff yes, and tall and, and like nine feet tall. Yeah. All right. He's like Nicaraguan and he's Saint Latin. Him. So I got to leave my wife at home. I can't bring her around. You know, there's a tip, you know, no big deal. We're not going to get into all the Willie Herrera stuff. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Let's, let's not, it's a whole just, thing. She's just got to stay home. Okay? Stay home. Yeah, stay leave home. your wives at home. Le leave Come your down. wives at home. Smoke cigars with me. All right, go for it. Let's get the next comment. All this the wives coming. at home are Googling, who's Willie Herrera? Willie Herrera. They're, this they're Willie Herrera. Herrera. Yeah. Their husband's uh, watching the show and they're in the background on Instagram like <laughs> Willie Herrera. <laughs> They see him taller than the tobacco plants. So they're like, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. What a dream boat, this Willie Herrera. <laughs> Honey, right. could you get me a ticket? Chase Hawkins. Oh, Nick, God. what's the story behind the M? And why does nobody talk about it? So nobody does talk about the Siri M. Yeah. And uh, are, what, do you want to? Hold on. What's a Siri M? <laughs> I don't do that. I don't just, even know what a Nick Siri M is. Ask me what the Siri M is. Uh, it's the Monticello. Oh, the Monticello. Okay. So I've heard of the Monticello. You've heard so, of the Monticello. Yes, yes, but yes. Everybody thinks it's a Siri M. And by the way, I'm just going to say this. As one who is in the world of creating new cigars at the moment, uh, packaging is everything. So if you put an M on the band and put it in a circle in the same way that this cigar had a Siri had an O on the band, or in the same way the next one has a Siri G or a V, people will just assume sure, it's called sure, Siri sure. M. Yes, Even yes, if yes. the secondary band says Monticello, Monticello yeah, yeah. on it. So, I guess uh, I've just never heard anyone refer to it as an M. As an M. That's what most yeah. people think it is, just wow. like they think it's called the Olivia Siri M. The so. Olivia 5? Yeah, the yeah. Olivia 5. Ooh, I so, heard that last week. Wait, 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 so, <laughs> yeah, Nick. Oh, Julie Flores is on. Julie, Julie Flores is dear to us. We love her. Hi, Julie. Uh, does it bother you when people mispronounce Oliva like Olivia Newton John? <laughs> I have to admit, my first few years of smoking cigars, I mispronounced them. Uh, sorry. Uh, first of all, no apologies. You are one of every single person ever in the history of smoking cigars, says Olivia. Um, for the first about nine and a half years of my career, I corrected people. And then the last three years, I just stopped. I yeah. just stopped. So now I just leave it up to other people to yeah. correct me. I kind of laugh and chuckle. Yeah. Only, especially because what our whole Olivia thing together, you know, that's it. You just gotta go sit back can and I just say, a little bit. Can I tell people they're not excited about coming out with a cigar called that? By the way, no, I checked. <laughs> we, yeah. He didn't check. I checked. I got told. I got told. Yes, the Olivia. It sounds like a great idea. It was, okay, it sounded great, but oh it wasn't. Gosh. It was terrible. So, uh, so anyway. Uh, the, the Monticello, that's a cigar made for a particular purveyor. Correct. And so that's why people don't ever talk about it because it's every, everyone else is a competitor to the Monticello. And so, so to give you kind of a point of view from one of my salesmen. So I have 13 guys that are out there on the streets every day. Those guys don't even sell the Monticello. It's not I, in their catalog. I can't even sell the Monticello. To be honest with you, I had never even smoked one, um, and if you remember, some guys years ago that were, were uh, watchers of the show sent some for me to try, yeah, which I thought was cool because a good cigar. I, truthfully, I, I Oliva sends me samples. I don't really spend money on cigars per se as right. kind of lucky like that sounds. Yeah. So so I not one to go find that cigar, um, but it's a great cigar. And but it's a it's a private label for them only. So what I will tell you. I can't give details, but I will tell you we are working on something that we're actually very, very, after a year and a half, two years, very, very close on finishing. Thank God. Yeah, Thank well, God. if you guys have watched the after party, you know that Nick has been, Nick and I have been chatting about a daily edition project from Oliva. And so what the uh, blend selection is done. We got the cigar yes. and it's really good. It's fantastic. And uh, and now we're into the the depths of packaging. That is, without a doubt, the worst and most difficult part of creating a new cigar without anything else. I mean, like you can sit yeah. down and blend a cigar and it's really good. But once you start to design the box and design the band, there are it's a minefield of stuff. First of all, you can't step on a mine, which would be a trademark infringement yes you don't want to do that 
Second of all, uh, everybody's got to be kosher with the packaging. Third of all, you got to deal with conversations across countries and the box factory yes, and the bands. And absolutely. The box, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. It's a it's a situation. And that's where we are right now. And and where we've been for a while. <laughs> we've been I'll, over, I'll be yeah. honest. I speak salesman, which is slap a label on it, get it out there and let me sell it. Right. right. But unfortunately, when it comes to like the artistic stuff, like, you know, and our marketing person knows that's where I get lost. Yeah. So it, right now, I think, though, I think we're we're pretty solid. I think we're pretty solid. Pretty ready solid. to take a step forward. Yes, we're moving if, forward. It, I'll, say that, step. I'll say that this is where we're at. We are to the point where if the response to my last email is something that I will approve, then we we hit accept and we we fire it off. That's it. We're done. Then, then they start making it and boxing it. And then it, then, then it should only take another nine months. Yeah. So then in, in four <laughs> years from now, I promise everybody on it, we were going to have a leap. No. All right. And that mozzarella is pretty damn good. I know nobody talks about it. It's a good cigar. It is. It's a very good cigar. I enjoyed it. I, I'll be honest with you guys. I love Oliva, hate Oliva. I'm I'm an Oliva snob. I love everything. I cannot tell you a single Oliva I've ever smoked where I'm like, wow, that's not a good cigar. Do I like some better than others? Absolutely. But I've never had an Oliva that I've never, that I haven't liked. I have. Oh. I'll just say right now, I have. <laughs> I don't want to talk about, yeah, the Kane F. That's why I'm the smoking. The one he's it. holding up right there I'm right now. smoking it in honor of you. It made me sick to Matter of fact, I'm lighting it up right now Gosh, just because you're so such terrible. a sissy. Why, who would make a cigar out of all the hero? Yeah, Billy. So I, and we all know I'm kind of sensitive to pepper, strong cigars. Yes. And I'm smoking a Kane F. And it is absolutely delicious. Oh my gosh. And it right. is not. Well, it was like, it was like nine years ago that this happened. I smoked a cane F. I got sick to my tummy. Oh, I was oh, working yeah, at. Your tummy ache. Yeah. It was my first job in a cigar shop. I was a clerk at a cigar shop and I had no real boss. Uh, my, the, the lady that hired me wasn't ever like there. Yeah. And, or paid the bills. So if the lights came on, it was great. But yeah. like I work in this cigar shop and when I first started working in my first job in my first cigar shop, uh, no one ever gave me a rule of like, you got to pay for cigars when you smoke them or like you get a discount or you get a smoke for free while you're working. Sure. So I just assumed that I should learn about everything yeah, in the shop. Smoke so I just kind of started smoking my way through the humidor. And when I got to that cane F, my gosh. That was a day. So you're like the kid in high school that drinks too much Jägermeister and then never touches college, Jägermeister or in college, excuse me, college, yeah. um, uh, 21 year old college student, um, to be perfectly honest, to be perfectly yeah, perfectly yeah, maybe honest. 23, maybe 23, maybe <laughs> 25, maybe yeah, 27, yeah. who knows, a long college student, um, that tried Jägermeister that will never try Jägermeister yes. ever again. Yes. That's how you are with the canine. So I challenge you to try it. It's a damn good cigar. Agreed. And it's not, it's weird because maybe it's me, but it's not as strong no. as I remember it being. Yeah. We, so I don't know. Maybe it's a crop like it like kill me and it's not. I'm smoking one right now as well. So, I just did a full mouthful. So now, so just to be clear, everyone on the show, but me is smoking a cane <laughs> F now. Yeah. We yep. got to get you one. All right. Well, you guys can learn more about the cane F along with nub. And in fact, the cane F is even in this picture. Uh, the Connecticut Siri G, Siri O, even the Siri V and Master Blend stuff. There's more details about these cigars on the community on Cigars Daily Plus. Don't miss out on that. Uh, especially if you want to try the cane F I I'm going to abstain at least for right now. I'm the only one not smoking for the love of God. All right, let's grab some other comments from the fine people. And then we got to pick of the week and a few other things to come out. This one's from Victor Gallet. The master blends might be one of Oliva's best smokes. How would you rate it versus the Siri V or Melania? Nick. So actually how I personally would rate it in order. Would I'm be, not, yeah, I, yeah, one has to be better than the other. Melanio is my number one. V is my number two. Master Blends my number three. That's my order. I smoke Master Blends every day. I'm one of the only human beings on earth. Do you, that I will fight somebody over Master Blend. I love it that much. Because there's people out there that will see it and they'll, they'll talk trash and let them talk to whatever. They'll, they hate us because they ain't us kind of attitude. But mm -hmm. with that master blend, I will put that up against a lot of people's cigars. And I guarantee you, for the money, it, it's a damn good cigar. I think in a blind taste test, it wins. And honestly, in the top tier of Oliva. You think it wins over Milanio? Over over every, most other things. And here's my take on, on Oliva's top tier. If it's V, Milanio, and master blends. Here's how I'm going. Siri V Maduro, master blends. 
Siri V, and then Melania. No. Straight up, dude. Yes. Melania would be fourth on my list. 100%. All these years I've been giving you Melania because I thought you loved it. I and I given, smoke them I because been I order, like you. Yeah, I but I would have been ordering <laughs> Siri V Maduro. I mean, if that's what you like. Man. I do like it. You yeah, think every, you know somebody. I think you, you can feel like you can trust somebody. Yeah. Every time I'm like, oh, thank you for the Golly. cigar, Nick. And here yeah. I am. I'm here just I like, am. God, it's the fourth. Best I left. On the list. I left, and you're like, man, this guy keeps giving me the fourth best cigar. <laughs> well, the thing is, their catalog is mad deep, so there's like 77 other cigars I under know. that. So being in the top four ain't bad. Uh, Colin M says, Nick, what Victola of Master Blend should Ooh, I try for my question. first one? Does it matter? My Master Blends. I've smoked a lot of them. So there's only three now. So yeah. we, we we had a double Robusto that we discontinued. So really, it's Robusto, Torpedo, and Churchill. Mm -hmm. I will tell you personally, I'm always a Churchill guy. Yes. But I am yes. in cigar stores all day. Everyone not anymore. I mean, you know, work from home mostly. But I'm smoking cigars pretty much all day. Yeah. So a Churchill is something I gravitate towards just for length of time. I will tell you, you won't smoke a bad one. Truly, mm -hmm. you won't. And, and and I know you always have specials on them. And stuff. I don't. Yeah, uh, I don't. I smoke the Robusto and I smoke the Churchill and I like I think they taste about the same. So really, it's a it's about the matter of yeah, how much time do you have? Yeah. yeah. Are you sitting are down great. to smoke for 45 minutes? You want to sit down and smoke for two hours? Personally, in my humidor at home, I'm keeping Churchill's there uh, because I love that. And if I'm pulling out a Robusto, it's because I'm going to smoke something else that same night. I'll smoke the Robusto and then I'll, I'll smoke another. Like even Billy came over last night and at the time he smoked a a Churchill. Yeah. I smoked a Toro and a Robusto. Yeah. yeah. I'm, a fa I'm a very fast smoker. All right. Let's get another comment. We got a bunch of them. We do have a bunch of them. All right. Well, let, let's hammer out some comments. I like that. Let's get through a few of them. Uh, Bosky Outdoors. What does Nick drink with his cigar? Uh, I'm a bourbon whiskey guy, typically. Mm -hmm. If yep. I'm drinking alcohol. If not, I'm Diet Coke. I'm easy. You drink a lot of Coke. Uh, diet, diet, diet Coke. Diet Coke. Yeah. You drink a lot of Diet Coke. Lots of Diet Coke. Can we pull up that picture of Nick again? There's you don't get to look like I mean, this. Look at that waistline. You don't get a waistline like that. That looks like a not, different person. It almost it you looks right as if that could possibly have been been fabricated in some way. I and maybe maybe not fabricated. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say I just shaved off the love handle. But but to my credit, that picture was taken when I was fat. I was like 220. Five pounds. I'm you've lost. Yeah, I've you've lost, lost a lot of weight. Yeah, we we both we both yeah. lost. Is that going to be the Nikki sticky? That's Ooh. going to be the Nikki sticky. That's right. All right. Uh, hey Nick from Onilio Parado. That was so that was so so angry. Like, hey why, Nick, why is he yelling at me? What's your preference on a cigar, Connecticut Shade or Maduro? Onilio, why are you yelling at me? Are you so <laughs> upset? Like, relax, that. man. Relax. Do you? I mean, okay, hold it so down a notch. Do yeah. you prefer a Connecticut or Maduro? I mean. Dude, first of all, the answer to this question that everybody gives is the answer I think that you're going to give, and that's you smoke different cigars for different parts it, of the day. Yeah, of course. It depends. It, it depends on my mood. I will tell you this. I wake up. I take my kids to school. I start my day, and I smoke a Connecticut every single morning. Every single morning. I, yeah. I like clockwork. I yep. love our Connecticut. It's just what I do. But I don't smoke a lot. I don't smoke a Milano every day. I don't smoke a V every day, but Connecticut is. Can I tell you, day. I got to tell you guys something. I, I was looking the other, the other day at uh sales data from a particular online purveyor. Yep. Well, I won't say who it was. I just happen to have access to all of their sales data all the time. <laughs> and, uh, that sounds awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, that online purveyor should really cover themselves up. A yeah. 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 No, they're very careful. Uh, but I got access to it. So I was looking at it and I happened to go look to see what were the most sold Olivas on there. And the Connecticut Robusto by like a lot mm -hmm. was the most popular one with you guys with with many thousands of sticks really exceeding the others. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Wow. Like, so if that you want to know what people sure know, yes, yes. That Connecticut Robusto is the jam. So to give you one step further, Oliva is a company. Now, I don't know if I'm supposed to be sharing data like this. You are. But why this not? Was, it's but just 500. Why not? I mean, what's friends? the worst that's going to happen? I mean, I'm remember where I'm at in the middle. I hide very well. Very well, though. No. But honestly, Oliva's, I believe, our number one selling cigar is a Siri V. If I'm not mistaken, it's a V double Toro number yep. two, which I think oh, I've said this on the show. That. Yep. Number two is the Robusto Milano. And number three. Is about to blow your mind. A nub Connecticut. Yep. No way. It's either oh, yeah. three, four, or five. It's somewhere. And again, I'm I'm paraphrasing. So any competitor that wants to quote me on that, it's not exact, but it's either three or four. It's it's 
in the top five. You know, you're, when our, you say that, if the other if the competitors are watching, you're supposed to say the least popular cigars so that they order more of those. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. So, uh, <clears throat> what he means is the most popular cigar is the Nub Habano 466T yes. Box Press Torpedo. Box. <laughs> hey, I got one the of one those you've out never of my seen on, on Wait, I'm like, does that even? I'm playing it back. I'm like, does that even exist? I don't. Yeah, think that is a real right. cigar. Yeah. All right, let's take another one. The this one, Sumatra. I'm sorry. This one just makes me laugh because what we're all doing right now. Perma, no, Nick, Dude, diet is so much worse for you. What's funny is so Perma. many people tell me that every day, every day. With a cigar it. in your mouth. With, yeah, yeah. You're going into cigar so, shops. You go to 10 cigar shops like, you know, that's, that's going to kill you. So <laughs> you'll laugh at this. My mom, who, who has cancer now, yells at me. Yelled about at me the, about my diet coke. About the diet soda. When she was a smoker, she yelled at me about it. I'm like, okay, well, you know, let's tone it down a notch. You know, like, it is, but it, I think it is a problem. I, I did a I did a short video on TikTok. I did it was like a uh, it was like a Twilight Zone thing where I was like, imagine if you will a world where you're enjoying a cigar, and you know, a woman comes up to you and she's telling you about how much she hates your cigar, but she's got McDonald's in one hand and she's got her cell phone next to her. You're like all this, all the ridiculous unhealthy stuff everybody does when they yep. look at you about your cigar. But now cigar people are doing that to you about your diet Coke, yes. which is just comical. Perfect. It's just perfect. So America. the other day we America. lost, we lost power at my house for mm -hmm. like three hours. Oh, my son's first thing when the power goes out, it's nighttime. Okay. It's like seven o'clock. So he's excited. The first thing he says, daddy, we got to go get Diet Coke and put it on ice. Swear to God, that was my six-year-old's response. You got that kid hooked on that stuff? No, he doesn't drink it. He's, <laughs> oh, they're he's not worried about to, you. He used to think about me. But good that's, kid. yeah, good kid. But that's when you know you got a problem. Think that's about it. You know. I mean, if you're a drug addict and your kid goes out and says, Daddy, let's go get you your next yeah, thing. The it's power a bad, we that's, a bad yeah, that's a bad problem. <laughs> yeah. That's basically what, if you really look at it from a bigger picture, I that's when I realized I might have an issue with diet coke consumption is this like as i'm taking a sip of my diet yeah coke. are we is this an intervention are you going to stop which or? by the way i only have half a glass and i might need would you like to get, brought an extra like no this more. isn't an intervention <laughs> come on no one likes a quitter <laughs> i'm right. also an enabler would you want me to go grab you some yeah we'll we, get we one in a minute yeah, we'll let's get the next one. comment here uh anthony the spirito uh what about the siri O? all right i'm going to talk about the siri O because everybody else here is smoking the damn cane f right now these effers are messing with it uh, with my flow. So the Oliva Siri O, here's my complaint about this cigar. Oh, I'm going to whine about this. It's just the like, the packaging, the band on the cigar is the boring. most like, si like whatever <laughs> cigar band that there is. It's just like you walk past it on the, yeah, it's just like, wah, 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 wah. I turned it down for but, years. But because only, only because everything else on the shelf is so flashy. Like it carries all the quality that you'd want to communicate through the packaging. It does a good job of that, but it's just been around for a long time. It's a sleeper though. It's a sleeper. And I reviewed this uh, and I gave it like a 92 and I probably need to do a redux review. I'll go back and re-review cigars after a year or two. You check the blend for consistency. You check your own palate. Um, but I gave this like a 92. It's why I'm smoking it tonight. And legitimately, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm lighting up the Siri O Maduro. That's mm. my next cigar. So I've become a huge fan of the Siri O, which is Oliva's Habano wrapper leaf over Nicaraguan binder and fillers. I so, believe. so yeah, correct. It's a Habano Puro. So Habano Puro. Yeah. So what makes it so unique and, and fascinating with this type of cigar, <clears throat> and a lot of people don't do this, is binder filler wrapper all habano nicaraguan habano from different parts from there's there's only a handful of cigars that do that the cane f is all lajero right all lajero but it's lajero from different regions okay uh, well technically um the the habano on the on the the canes is not nicaraguan right okay so so this is a nicaraguan puro nicaraguan oh, puro yeah. but the only other cigar i can think that is like a puro not just of the same country but of the same leaf would be my father has uh la duena which is an all broadleaf cigar broadleaf wrapper binder and filler. yes 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 but like there are not all broadleaf from nicaragua though oh is it right i don't know i don't know it either. could be that's a brian question i mean the, Gar the garcias have their own farms i yeah that maybe they're buying it maybe not anyway there's very few cigars out there you'll find that are that are that kind of puro where where instead of it being a Nicaraguan puro, which which is just means wrapper, binder, and filler are all from Nicaragua. And there are lots of good Nicaraguan puros and lots oh, of good sure. Honduran ones and even Dominican ones. But yes, occasionally you do find one like the Habano that is Habano wrapper, binder, filler, 
or Lajero wrapper binder filler. And what's amazing to me is that you can do this and still create a cigar with, with a flavor. really complex flavor profile and like like a really interesting experience sure. from from head to tail from it, beginning to it's, end. That's what makes a cigar so special and unique. <clears throat> that's why I I mean I love I love the O. I've always loved the O. And guys, in my experience, people either love it or they don't. Yeah. And the, typically, the guys who don't are the guys that don't like habano type wrappers and and it happens i don't i mean i don't expect every single person to love every single oliva i can tell you we have enough cigars where i could get an oliva pretty much everybody loves some oliva one way or the other but with the o that's what makes it's like baking a cake with just vanilla right it's very difficult to do i mean if you think about it you're growing tobacco from jalapa valley contega i mean esteli i mean literally all over the 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 country to get to make this one cigar and and it, in my opinion, gives Nicaraguans best. I'll well, just is, just to check with you. Maybe we could make a cigar out of all Pennsylvania broadleaf. Ooh, it sounds expensive. We could, and just as a counterpart to the Serie V, we could call it the Serie P. <laughs> How about <laughs> that guy? I'm glad that, that got Billy. Like, I'm glad somebody got that. Nice. <laughs> Come on. That went over my head until I heard him chuckle. Now, if we send that <laughs> into the office to the same person we sent my other ring to, we're going to be in trouble. You think again. I get in trouble for yeah, that one too? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Well, we'll right. just can that one for a little bit. Let's keep getting them. Nick, we're going to go back to when you were a lowly sales rep. Mm. Yeah. The good old days. Easy E 323. Nick, what makes it leave it different from other cigar companies? Uh, what makes them stand out in your opinion? This is my favorite question for cigar makers. You have to answer this question to be any good. Now, arguably, I think Oliva has done some of this. Uh, you guys have the Oliva 135th anniversary. How many other companies get to have 135th anniversary cigar? You guys have that. Uh, so you've sort of stood the test of time, I guess. I guess. Uh, what, <laughs> Maybe. Uh, what Maybe. is? What, what in your mind is it about Oliva that makes you guys stand out? So for me from the moment I started to work now, again, I'm talking about working for Oliva, right? So working for Oliva is, I always felt like family. Yeah. And that was so for me, even when Oliva sold to the Val de Moliere family in 2016, I was always part of the family. Right. Mm. So for me, it was kind of, it was, e it's easy. And as far as our cigars go, I mean, at this point, most people on the show could attest to this. They speak for themselves. Great price point. For a great cigar. That's my line. Yeah, that's that is a line. That's my line. See, I just needed to be I needed it to be teed up so I could yeah, actually yep. say it. it's it's a great that's what we do. We specialize, we grow our own tobacco, we make our own boxes. And I understand people will say, Yes, we don't have the most pretty wrappers on on our on our um cigars. They're not wrappers, but uh, uh bands. bands, excuse me. But I will tell you, I will put most of our cigars up against pretty much anybody else's cigars all day long as yes. far as as far as consistency flavor price point uh, i mean you can't go wrong I mean, just, excellent I, and, it, I, and for what it's worth i think that that stands true to form for what oliva fans like about oliva cigars is that is the quality of the cigar for the price that you pay for the cigar is pretty much like they tow that line better than anybody else there are people who make cheap cigars and there are people who make good cigars there are not a lot of people who balance out really, really well the two ingredients of affordability and quality, yeah. which Oliva consistently does and yep. has done for a long time. Even the higher end stuff, like the Melanio, is all below 20 bucks, pretty much. We were talking about this, you and I, the other day, because Melanio had gone up. And no, every year we have price increases because, frankly, we get price increases. UPS goes up in price. All these other companies go up in price. So we have to go up in price. So, and, and there's a lot of other factors, not just that, but for us as a manufacturer to be able to hold true to manufacturing great consistent cigars every day that you can find every day because mm -hmm. you you we could all attest to it how many times have you gone to stores looking for the you know xyz special edition oh we don't carry that or oh you got to go to that store down there you can find a Milanio at pretty much any cigar store in the country. You can anywhere. find Milanios at stores that aren't cigar stores. Like yeah. Total Wine. Oh, yeah. 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 You yes. walk through anywhere that sells cigars, and if they don't have a Milanio, they haven't thought about it very hard. Sure. I mean, there's bars I go into town, and I yeah. pop up, and they have a humidor like what we have back here that'll have Milanio in it. Exactly. So it's just, it's they're everywhere now. 
All right. If you guys want to learn more about Oliva Cigars, of course, you've got to get uh, the details on the community on Cigars Daily Plus, which is also where you can go to learn about the Mega Herf Habano Con, which is coming April 20th. Nick is going to be there. I'm going to be there. The whole Cigars Daily crew and a whole lot more. Learn more about that on Cigars Daily Plus and keep dropping your cigar comments and questions down below because we will be taking them for the rest of the episode, even when... We end the episode on YouTube and Facebook in a little bit. We're going to continue it on the community on Cigars Daily Plus. That's a great place to, by the way, to have an account set up. It's free and easy to do, and you get the best damn cigar content online for free, including the after party of this episode. But we need to do something. I'm going to cover your face up just briefly because we got to do this real this quick. This is my money maker. Right? I know. I know it is. It, right now, it's, it's, it is for us, too. Um, <laughs> this is the Cigars Daily Nation pick of the week. I... Uh, I didn't really plan it. Yeah, yeah, get in there. Um, so this oh, one comes man. from the Cigars Daily Nation Facebook group. This is from Forrest H. Now, I just, I want to, what I do with Nick with this, we're going to dissect this picture a little bit, okay? I kind of want to be in that picture. There's not yeah. many pictures where I want to go to. I want to go to go that to there. Yeah, I want right. to go there. Let's put it up and let's just say, all right, so Forrest, post this picture. First of all, good for you, Forrest. Living he, the dream. He said, when your fiance makes you take the day off to watch the solar eclipse perfect time for an oliva connecticut mm. now I love it here he is he's sitting there he's got his table looks like probably the backyard and uh what time was the eclipse today 11 20 a.m i don't even know it was 11 20, in a different part of town in my he must be in, in a country. different part of the of the country but still nonetheless a half drank beer and what looks like maybe a pina colada good for him they got their eclipse glasses and his and his connecticut right there take the day off and I got to say, did you, did you, you didn't even watch the eclipse, did you? No, I, did you know there was an eclipse? I today? knew there was an eclipse. Hold on. I'm not that bad. I, <laughs> I was told there's an eclipse. Someone told me about it. My kids came home with these really dark glasses and I tried them on and couldn't see anything. You couldn't I, see that, anything. That was literally my experience with this eclipse. Okay. So first of all, a little bummed out. The world was supposed to end during this thing. Oh, really? I mean, all the online conspiracy option? guys were like, this is going to go through seven town called Nineveh. And then Revelation is going to happen. Where was your warning to me? Wait, you thought the world was going to end? And you, I didn't even know. And you didn't even tell me, hey, Nick, like, buddy, the world I would, if ending? something was going to, if something was happening, I would have texted you. That's strike two on this, on this <laughs> episode. This I'm episode just saying, right. man, this, I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm wondering but about this friendship. Now. Nothing happened. Nothing happened. And so uh, we're all fine. But a lot of people in the Cigars Daily Nation Facebook group, which, by the way, by the way one of the biggest and best places uh, on the Internet, Absolutely. biggest and best groups with 40,000 plus members. You can go share your uh, cigar experience. Lots of people in there watching the eclipse and doing it with a good cigar. And so mm -hmm. I'm glad that he did it with his fiance and with an Oliva cigar. I love it. By the way, marry that woman. Marry that woman. Yeah, she told you to go outside and have a cigar. There's what? not too many women are that like encouraging. Facts. What I what well, I she got... wasn't in the picture. Maybe she's like, oh, he's gonna smoke Listen, a cigar. She still told him to go outside and watch the eclipse, and he had a cigar. So okay, it's, yeah, it's a win in my book. Her off. drink is right there too. I okay. hope that okay. I hope my wife is still watching right now. I saw her chiming in the comments earlier, but literally this morning during the eclipse, so I knew it was gonna peak at eleven twenty. Okay, because I'm I'm like into this stuff. And uh, so I got that. My wife got some eclipse glasses and I, and I had some here at the shop. She texts me at 1049 this morning, a picture of the beginning of the eclipse. And she says, are you outside? And I said, I'm about to be because I had a timer set. Cause I'm just going to go out at 1120 and look at the thing. It's a, it's the sun in the sky. Sure. It's the opposite of the moon. You know, it's like you put the glasses on, you look yeah. at it. It's got a crescent. You go back inside. It's going to be the day. I said, I'm about to be. And she said, babe, don't miss the process. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, love I thought it. about that text from my wife when I saw I that picture uh, uh, in the Facebook group. His wife, his fiance made him take the day off work to sit and watch the eclipse if, together. If you kind of think about it, though, she's right. Don't miss, like it's a whole Well, you get to if you sit and watch it, you watch the, the moon go. Well, across sometimes the sun it's and, the whole like the lead up. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's the, the, the chase. Foreplay, if you will. Yeah. For yeah, me, yeah, the foreplay. It, for it, me, it was everybody stopped working and we all went outside and looked at the yeah, eclipse. Yeah. And the fact that it was a 10 minute event was like, all right, that. Everybody for get back me, to it, I didn't even. It was like COVID. It didn't even exist in my world. <laughs> like it didn't even. It truly didn't even exist. It didn't, it didn't, it didn't even bother. bother me at all. all right, I want to get back to your guys' comments and questions. You can find more pictures like that. People who celebrated the eclipse with cigars in the Cigars Daily Nation Facebook group. All right, Billy. Billy just clicked something, and then and I just watched something go on the computer, and then Billy did this and looked right at me. I'm offended. You're personally oh, offended by something from Chris CPU. 
Thank you, Chris. Thanks for posting. Let me just read your comment with a lot of respect. Tim and Billy hitting way over their weight limit. The wives are gorgeous. I like to think I'm like Will Ferrell from the other guys. Yeah. Fat? Hitting no. over your weight limit. What he means is, we're, we're, <laughs> wait, hold on. Let's talk about this. Let's no, dissect no, 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 no. Like, what this gentleman that, just like, the said. The wives of the settlers, and they are the reachers. He means yeah, that we're 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 hitting, uh, we're batting the above words our average. Weight limit are in there oh in reference to your wives. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm gonna I, leave it there. I posted a picture of. Uh, so Billy came over yesterday, and we had cigars and whiskey. And I posted a picture in the Facebook group, and and Billy and my wives are both more attractive than either of us deserves. Well, well, what was that? You I'm think like Will Ferrell from the other guys? Oh yeah. 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 He's like, yeah. Michelle comes over. Why and he's like, look? yeah. <laughs> Why <is> she look? <laughs> that was a great movie. What does he say about his wife in that? Everything. Oh, he's, he's just like, like, just makes fun of what on, she's wearing, wearing and... garbage bags. <laughs> yeah. That was a great movie. You've seen that the other. A, of course. Allison and I went to that movie on our second date. Oh, Allison says I'm here. My beautiful wife is here. The old wrench. Hi, hi, Allison. Allison. Wrench next to her name is what I'm referencing. Oh, okay. it's not her. She's the old ball and chain. All right. Uh, and then strike Chris, three. And Chris there it Sosa is. says three dog orgy party. It says, yeah. In my picture, also all of my three of my dogs were all three of the four. Asserting their dominance, they're I, all fixed. I might listening. have to see this picture. Of, uh, it's a pretty good. Yeah, one. Pretty good. It's I pretty actually good, have it yeah. on my phone. All right, Billy. Keep taking comments. I got to show Nick this picture of my dogs getting crazy nick you can read this one yeah read this one nick what's it like being a cigar rep is it worth it well it depends on who you're talking to for me it was the best move i ever made that i don't i think i've talked about this on on past episodes those are definitely three dogs humping. <laughs> wow and you posted that and then yeah public I put that on forum. the internet oh, good for yeah. you good for you no he wonder why, why we get in trouble in the longer um, i do this the more i like to throw caution to the wind so, so being a rep worked out for yes, you pretty well. I, I love it. And I'll tell you this. If you work for the right company, I there's not been – I had an ex-girlfriend's dad tell me once when I was in high school, if you like what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And I always say that. And I always, you still believe that? 100%. I have not worked in 12 years. Dude, I go to I I smoke cigars. That's true. Right, I get paid to hang out with you. Yeah, like think, let that grad, let that. This is part of Nick's job. Yeah, think about that. Like right now, I'm. These are working. This is my job. Yeah, this is my job. This is what I do. I mean, I'm smoking cigars, drinking diet coke, and God knows what else on the after party. And you know what I mean? It's it's work. I want to lend you guys a perspective from the other side of the coin. Okay, because Nick is right. For Nick, it was the best thing he could have done, best decision he ever made, and it landed him in a really cool way in a really amazing Absolutely. career path with a really amazing company like Oliva, and we're friends. So neither of us would dispense that for anything. At the same time, being a cigar rep is, is hard work, man. Yes. I mean, yes. I, I, almost just, I almost just dropped a dirty word saying that. Yeah. It's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of time on the road, a lot of time away from home. It's a, I mean, it is downright dirty work. And... Not every cigar brand is Oliva. In fact, yeah. I, I'm pretty sure no other cigar brand is Oliva. I do take that for granted a lot. Like one of the things, that, do, if you heard truthfully. what Nick said earlier, if you listen very carefully to him, because I'm learning to be a good listener, because I'm reading a book on listening. One of the things he said is that being at Oliva, he felt like he was always treated like family. And that was one of the things after the yeah. acquisition by the Belgian Fred, uh, Fred, Vendel Melier. Vendel Melier. Yeah, that was uh, better than I did, actually. You. Impressive. Uh, you got to stick your tongue out. <laughs> uh, still treated like family. And that's not the exist. That's not the experience you'll get with every cigar brand. So just mm. going and being a cigar rep, in my opinion, ain't always all it's cracked up to be. I know some it's reps true. who are stressed out people. Yeah. And, and personally, I, I, that saying, by the way, uh, and, and I get the spirit behind it. If you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. I have always said that's a crock because like a little be, foamy shoe. I never liked my ex-girlfriend's dad anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I, but here's why. If you love what you do, you'll work harder to yeah. do it. So it's funny. And you're right about that. But we talked about, if you remember our conversation, me, you and Jim literally had this conversation a couple days ago of why I always said not that I'm never claiming to be the best rep. Right. I will never say that. I was very good, very, very good at what I did. Why? Better than all the other reps, it wasn't, according to your awards. It wasn't work for me. Right. It was fun. So doing the work 
wasn't really work. So going the above and beyond was just what I did because I loved my job. Right. I loved what I did. You'll work harder for it. Yes. I, I'll tell you, there are days at the Cigars Daily HQ where I'm sitting at my desk and I'm like, like what, like woof, like some of the stuff that I encounter in the year and, and my partner, Jim, too. Some of the stuff oh, we encounter yeah. is just downright like teeth gritting, tough stuff. Absolutely. But because we love doing this, it's, it's worth doing. So I, I've got a little bit different perspective on it, but it's the same spirit as what you're so, saying. Like, yeah, like I wouldn't, I certainly wouldn't do anything else. But like, if you remember during our conversation, I said this too, what people don't see in this job and what you guys don't see is reps chasing money. Right. right. A lot of times we have accounts that don't pay just like any other business. This is a business. I mean, it's fun, but it's still business. Yeah. So there's accounts that might not pay. You have to go out there and you have to collect money. So and like I said, with Oliva, yes, there's not a day I look back. But if you ask me today, truthfully, and I could tell you, if you ask me, Nick, is there another company you can envision? Someone asked me this just a couple of days ago. Is there another company you can envision working for? I don't have an truthfully. I don't have an answer for you. Yeah. I don't know if Oliva said, hey, Nick, you're done. I, I, I would be like in my world, I'd be lost Yeah, truthfully. Cause yeah. I can't fathom working. I don't want to work for anybody else. I couldn't, the, the thought of working for somebody else is just not even there. And I think any, any of us would be fortunate enough to have a job about which you would say exactly that. Yeah, All absolutely. Right. I'm I blessed. Get some more, There's no doubt about it. Absolutely. I want to get some more comments from the people. We've got a little bit more time before we head over to the after party on cigars daily. Plus this is where you guys will go to join us for the after party. It's where we're going to continue the show without the prying eye of big tech in about 10 minutes. Also where you'll learn more about Oliva cigars. This is just a little pregame detail, a little pregame info on Oliva cigars before we all kick off Habano con, mm. which is coming up on April 20th, uh, where we're all going to be hanging out together in person event. More details there to be had. Uh, I've smoked as much of this Connecticut or this uh, Habano Siri O as I can before I go to the Siri O Maduro, which means it's time to take another comment from the fine people. What would be a show without a humidor question? What would it? What, yeah. It wouldn't be a show without a humidor question from Chris Dyson. He's wearing a suit in his profile I, I picture, like so I think I'm going to give him a nice, uh, a nice. Oh, prop, maybe your your, your highness, voice. Chris Dyson. Cigar humidor help. Frustrated with my new Air 500 humidity. Mm, Buffy. Hmm. It ranges from 74 on the top to 64 on the bottom. 100 cigars and verified calibration. Normal? Right now, Chris is like, why am I watching this show? Why did I even ask it? Why am I putting myself through this? Why am I doing no, this? No, no, no. What he's doing is he's looking at his, he's looking at his, his TV head. and he's like, that's not what I sound like. I don't sound anything <laughs> like that. How rude. Oh, uh, dear. God. I, I could, like to that. be honest with you, I didn't even pay attention to the question. <laughs> <laughs> it takes work oh, when Tim's God. doing the voices. It takes work. That's All right. it. So uh, it ranges from 74 and 64 at the bottom. So he's frustrated. New Air, New Air 500. So 500 count New Air Humidor, which should have pretty dang good circulation. 100 cigars. So his, his hygrometer has been calibrated. He's getting a different humidity at the top and the bottom, which in my mind really can only mean one thing. And that's that air circulation somehow isn't making a way through your humidor. Now, if it's got, uh, if it's got internal air circulation, um, I don't know about you guys, but I am so turned on right now at the way you're talking. <laughs> He's talking big words, even over my head, everybody. I'm sorry. I'm looking up the new air 500 right now. I just want to see what this humidor has in it. All right. So, Ooh, this is a sexy humidor. They're, oh, this those, has got to be a newer so, model. I don't know much about them, but I, I want you to order me one of those because I heard, truthfully, I heard New Air are like the best. I don't know. So New Air doing. is top tier. It's a Cadillac of humidors. They do a great job. This humidor does not have internal humidification, and what it does have is the thermoelectric cooling, yep. which won't necessarily circulate the air for you. This is a Bovida powered humidor. It actually comes with a special Bovida storage unit in it. That will store your Boveda packs, which is a pretty cool team up between Boveda and New Air. Smart. Um, I would say somehow you're going to want to circulate air in there. Some people will get like a computer fan or it's possible you you need to, you know, move around your Boveda packs or rearrange yeah. them or something like that with 100 cigars in there. Uh, this thing is supposed to hold. Hold on, I don't want to. Let me ask it. you a the question. New Air 500, so I'm assuming 500 cigars. Uh, numbers sound like numbers to me. My, yeah, 500 count cigar humidor. Yeah. So my question is, can't he put more Bovita pack, like locate them like near the cigars? Because I that was, was told be you can't put too yeah. many 
I was always told by the, like, okay, do you remember those uh, wall humidors you and I got? Yes. They don't keep very well humidity. No, I took all my cigars out of my In my garage. Right. <laughs> in my man cave, right? So I put a bunch of the giant Boveda packs inside there, tons of them, because I was told by my buddy Mike, who works at Boveda, that you really can't put too many. Yeah. Because it self-regulates Yeah, they're two ways. So yeah. they absorb. So here's the thing. When you cool a humidor down, or when you cool a space down, the air has harder time holding on to humidity. And humidity can tend to like drop and settle because water molecules have, you know, weight, mass, and all that stuff. God, you're so smart. So I, I, I legitimately learned this from a scientist doctor guy, the smart, from the smartest person. Was that I've his ever official known. title? Like it was, Dan, the scientist no, doctor? No, he's, he's our age. And, and six years ago, he was a doctor teaching at ASU. So he's way smarter way, than you. I've least. known the guy since fourth grade. He's by, he's far and away the smartest person I've ever known personally in my life, uh, other than than me other than the, the, he could have been a cigar rep but yeah, a cigar okay rep. okay, okay. That's what I was he told okay. we were talking Thank about you. this and he said and he said cold air has a harder time holding on to humidity mm -hmm. and so like you'll notice your your humidors can tend to drop in humidity during the winter so if you've got that thing cranked down cold then yeah you would find that the humidity is going to be a little higher at the bottom than it is at the top so you might raise the temperature you might adjust the the packs in there and you might put maybe i don't know you already said your hum humidity at the bottom was low so or high. It sounded like it was 74 or something like that. Mm. But yeah, there's a few different ways to adjust that. Adjust your temperature, adjust your bovida packs or the quantity of your bovida packs or create air circulation in there. There is a battery operated air circulation device that you can find made by Zycar that you stick, stick it in there and it turns on for 15 seconds every 15 minutes and it just creates air circulation in your oh, humidor. that's cool. And that. In, that, in that new air that you have, it would fit in there and it wouldn't really cost you a lot of space for cigar storage. I can recommend that highly, and I know a place to get it. All right, uh, let's keep cruising. What's the next comment? This comment is from Tyler Howie. How much should I spend on a beginner humidor? Or should I invest in a medium-level humidor? Yeah. See? Yeah. <laughs> yes. If you're um, getting Oliva cigars, you're going to want to go medium-level because you'll almost always get enough free cigars with your Oliva cigars to fill them. If there's anything we do well, we give cigars. Baby. That's what <laughs> yeah. we do. Yeah. We grease the wheel. That's what we do. Um, that's it. Is it you want to answer that? Or you, I don't no, know. I mean, I'm leaning you, back so you can. You want me? Down. You want me to answer? I answer humidor questions all the time. I'll be honest with you. You're going to laugh at me. You don't have a humidor. Do you, I, I, I don't. <laughs> I use I don't I use Bovita bags. I have one humidor that someone gifted me. It's an LA blue, like fancy super yeah, duper. It's a very expensive real wood one. It was like two thousand dollars or something insane. And I always said I would never spend money like that. And it doesn't keep good humidity. So I usually use Ziploc bags with Bovita packs in them or Tupperware or containers or anything that you could seal with the Bovita packs. But you guys have to understand, I also give away. All, all, cigars. all your cigars. Everything I get, I give. I don't. Other I don't. What you I don't have a collection like you yeah. guys do. I I give everything away. But but humid bovidus humidor bags, tu uh, Tupperwares, all of that stuff works great. And so I ultimately, what I would say to this is, if you really want to get a humidor, which to a lot of guys feels right, I've got humidors out the wazoo. I have one in the office, one in the studio, one in the office. I have two at home. Yep. But but we'll tell you readily that Tupperware works just as well. And so like if budget is a thing, that's fine. If you're going to get a humidor and you're growing a cigar collection, I would recommend a medium sized humidor because like, this is the thing that people say when you buy a, when you buy a pew pew. Okay. And I'm yes. going to say that here on YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and just call it a pew pew. Yes, yes, yes. What people do is they buy themselves a model Arkansas Romeo a yep. yeet 15, a yeet cannon. yeet cannon. And then what they do is they get the new trigger and they get the new muzzle. They get the new upper, the new lower. Yep. And by the time they spent $1,500 on this pew pew, they they've upgraded it and spent $3,000 on the thing when they could have just custom built one to begin with for even less money. It's like you buy, you, you didn't buy what you needed up front. And so you end up spending way more on it. If you buy a small humidor for a growing cigar collection, then a, a month, two months from now, when you've, got a bunch of Oliva cigars that you're working your way through, suddenly you need a medium-sized humidor, and then you've bought the small one and the medium-sized one. So just start with the medium-sized one. I would agree. It's and like correct me if I'm wrong. The last thing you want to do is get the big one and not and have it underfilled. Right. right? Keep it, keep I'm, it about... Yeah. I don't ever claim to be an expert at humidors, but the last thing I remember when I had and kept up with my humidors properly was 
you want it at least half full, right? I mean, if it's, yeah, it's like a refrigerator. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, just for energy usage and everything like that. Keep they it half feed full off of good. each other. But I think if you like, you got the growing cigar collection. I don't think there's anything wrong with getting the mid sized humidor, and then if you're if you're getting cigars with some regularity. Then you, yeah, you put your 10 cigars in there and within a week you got 20. Sure. And then you get yourself another box and you got 40. And then before a few months go by, you've got yourself a bundle or two in there. You got a hundred cigars. It's half full. You're good yep. to go. All right. Keep going, Billy. We got to, we're going to take two more comments and then we're going to head straight over to Zafta Party. Cool, man. Hey, Nick. <laughs> oh, God. I want to know. Oliva's a great. You sound like Bill Clinton. <laughs> It's not that cool. I did not have relations with that woman. I am going to stick. I'm going with this voice. Oliva's a great man. Why are they priced better than a lot of other brands? Is it because Oliva does all their own cigar stuff? <laughs> or do you guys have like oh my God. some sort of hookup? Uh, mm. I like that. So actually, we have a hookup. What really? Is, well, you, you Ready for the hook? We have a hookup. I need to know what the hookup. I so, want to know what cigar stuff is. So do all your own cigar stuff. Well, I, mean, I think what he probably means is vertically integrated. Yeah. Well, he, the, I don't know if he knows is that. that so, very well may. So cool, man. I don't want to offend you. Go ahead. Go, what's the cigar hookup? And then what's the cool other? Cigar so stuff? the cigar hookup with us is the company that bought Oliva, the Vendel Melieri family, owns lots of farms and fields. So they own all their own fields. And they own their own box factory that oh wow does all of Oliva's cigars boxes. The only thing we don't do is the pretty little rings. And you know, there's only like two or three places in the country right. or in the world that does them. You know, four or five whatever places in the world that does it. But Oliva is what they call vertically vertically integrated, or we do our own cigar stuff. So yeah. everything we do, the answer to your question is why is Oliva less expensive than a lot of the other people is we do our own cigar stuff. We roll our own. We have our own farmers. We're own fields. We roll our own cigars. So from start to sales, so start to end, it's all Oliva. Yeah. So it's all in house. So we could afford to give deals and. and and almost nobody is that vertically integrated. No, there are. I mean, there are tons. There's a, of, there, there there's are, a few. I have not tons, but there are there's a few. Five, ten, maybe yeah. ish, roughly. Um, but the one thing that that Oliva prides itself on, or at least Fred Vendel Melieri, when he bought the company in 2016, is he said, nothing at Oliva is going to change. And I'll be honest with you, and I'll say it, and I've said it before, that scared me to death. Because I would have been through bank mergers. And when they say nothing changes, they lie because everything changes. Right. So I say it as a, more of a joking way. Here we are from 2016, almost what, 10, um, eight years later. Everything's changed at Oliva. Everything. He lied. He was a liar. Everything's changed. But was it changed for the for better? The better. Yeah. He mm. put more money into our company. Yeah. Mm. He's taking care of our employees better. Everything at Oliva. And that's not to disparage Oliva's because they were great. But there was four of them managing a company. So he came right. in with an influx of cash. And now he's able to get us more fields, more farms. Everything he does, he reinvests into Oliva. So when he said nothing's going to change, he lied to us. He's a liar. In a good way, though. In a good <laughs> he's way. He's a liar. He's a liar. In a good way. Yeah. But Nick, to be that perfectly... is the most Greek thing I have ever heard in my life was that whole explanation. <laughs> but that right, I mean, most Greek thing. truthfully, I'm... I'm that's what it was is he told us nothing was changed and everything changed in such a great way that our company has, has grown. I mean, you know, this exponentially, like yeah. all joking aside about it is, is he, when he said nothing was, would change everybody. I mean, we were nervous. There was guys getting resumes ready. I mean, there was guys ready to pop smoke and absolutely. And, and I remember Jeff Nolan and, and Corey, uh, our, our uh, president of our company sat us down and said, guys, relax. It'll be okay. Put some faith in Fred. And, and here we are. And, it's it's been awesome 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 ever since and i i remember uh yeah cool man says wow that was actually pretty cool how do i get a job with you guys just email nick yeah just send me email. Email. actually um, we're looking for someone in louisiana right now so, a word yeah actually <laughs> it, terrence is like you, that's what's up with that said pay attention everybody on here because i'm getting a lot of resumes you have to live in the territory so we want somebody who lives not a not a work from home job not a work from home yeah, job yeah yeah, I mean, PCA is in Louisiana next year, so you might see me wrestling some crowd days. So. <laughs> I'll, I'll pick, I'll pick up on that just a little bit, to, only to say this: I, I was around in 2016 when Oliva got bought out. And I remember how how nervous you were oh, about yeah. that, and I remember following through on how great it was. Yes, 
Yes. And that's, that's been really cool. I mean, all right. I, I tell, and it, all joking aside, I tell the same exact story, just like I told it to you, to the owner of our company to this day, Yeah, as he told us, nothing was changing and everything changed in such a great way. It's, it's, it's just, everything has just been awesome. It's like I said earlier, right? There's not a company in the world I can imagine working for other than Oliva. Yeah. So, all right. Volumes for him. Uh, we, I, there's you guys, there's more comments here than we can take. There's more than 600 comments right now already on this episode. We're going to continue taking them, but we are going to continue taking them on the after party on the community on cigars daily plus. And so you guys can go over there to learn more about Oliva cigars and what, what is it? Great cigars at great prices. Is that what you said? Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, you well, can you at least get more information about the cigars over there and you can learn more about Habano Con, which is going to be well represented with Oliva Nick and Willie Herrera and everybody from the Cigars Daily crew. There's more details there and we're going to keep taking your comments and questions. So I want to thank you guys for joining us for the main episode. Go to the after party, sign up. It's free and easy to do, but server space is limited. So we hope to see you guys there. Otherwise, we'll catch you all next Monday. Thanks, guys. See you at the after party. See ya. And live your lives.